All right, so let's look at your dictation on page 55. All right, so first one, I will say a word, only write the special so sound that is in the word, only write the special sound, okay? All right, your first box, the word is joy. Joy, what is my special sound in joy? Joy. Only write the special sound. And we did this special sound yesterday on the board. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tell me that later. Joy. Okay, what's my special sound in joy? <clears throat> Carson sound. Oi, oi. Okay, next word. Dark. Dark. What's my special sound in dark? Dark. Special sound in dark. I'm on the second one. Dark. Miss Fuji. Nothing. What? Nothing? Okay. Dark. Anybody knows the special sound in dark? Dark. Okay. AR. I guess you're the only person today. AR. Next one. Torn. Torn. Now, what's my special sound in torn? Torn. Like, I, like the paper was torn. All right, torn. What's my special sound in torn? O R. Good. All right, let's go to the next set of boxes, which are two. Now you will write the entire word, the whole thing, write the whole word, okay? okay. First one is snow. In the winter, it will snow. Snow, write the word snow. The whole word. How do we spell snow, Kenley? S-N-O-W, snow, good. Next one, squid, squid. Now remember, Q has a helper, squid.
Okay, squid. How do we write squid? <clears throat> squid. Okay, Naraya, squid. S Q U I D. Squid. Squid. Okay, next row. Okay. All right, so the first row, the first section, it has three boxes, okay? So the word, I'm sorry, it has two boxes. The word that I will say will have two different sounds, right? One in each box, okay? So let me, let me explain because we will start to do this on our phonics test as well. So let me explain. So I will say a word. You have two boxes, one, two. You'll write one sound here, one sound here. Y'all understand? Okay. All right, first word. Miss Fuji. Uh -huh. But my book, it has three lines. Yeah, it's gonna have a total of six boxes, but we're only using two right now. Are you on page 55? Yep. Okay, so the bottom row, there's one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, but we're only using two. You don't see how they're sectioned off with like, it's two, then you have two, and then you have two? Yeah. Okay. All right, so our first word, excuse me, our first word, prowl, prowl. What are the two sounds you hear in prowl? Hmm? All right, what are my two sounds in prowl? Prowl, Kinley. P R N O W. Okay, let's go to the next set of the next set of two boxes. Okay. The word is <laughs> sorry. Church. 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 What are two sounds? Church has three, but well. In, yeah. in the two boxes over here. Is the this the two that are centered? They're in the center. Oh. Church is the next two. So you did the first two, and so now the next two. Church. Kids.
Mm. All right, so church, what are my teeth downs in church? Carson? C-H-U-R, good. I think it's too far. Oh, you still have it? That's what you do. Girl. Then I believe you should as well. Get started. Get started. Get started. Get started. Get started. Get started. Get Mm, I don't know. Scurry, scurry. What are two sounds in the word scurry? Like the squirt, like I will scurry across. Scurry, scurry. Two sounds in scurry. All right, scurry. What are two sounds we hear in scurry? Carson, you just. Not ER. SC is one, but that's a different herb. <laughs> the only ones. U R S C and U R N also Y at the end. Good. Okay, good. So that, yeah. Yes, Savai, you have a question? Wait, no, I meant I wanted to do it, but then oh, I got Oh, my bad. I didn't know. Well, we're about to do another one, so you can answer on that one. All right, guys, go to page 59. Let's do our, another dictation on 59. Page 59, 5, 9, 59. Mm -hmm. well, Friday, I mean, uh, tomorrow. Y'all stop flipping your screens. You're not supposed to. Okay, let's get started. So we have our first set of boxes. I will say the word, right? The special sound you hear in the word. First word. Join, 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 excuse me, join. All right, what's my sound in join? Avai, you want to answer this one? Oh, why? Oh, oh, what? Oh, I. Oh, I, yes. I thought you had said why. Oh, I, good. Next word. Hook. Hook. This is the sounds we did yesterday, by the way. Hook. Hook. Okay, Dennis, what's our sound in hook? You are. Hook, uh, uh, you are is er, I didn't say hurt. Oh, 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 uh. Remember yesterday we did oh, oh. Okay, all right, let's look at our next set of words. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, our next set of boxes, there are three of them. The first word is toy. Toy. What's our sound in toy? Uh, we just did this one. Okay, Dennis, the sound in toy? No. I was going to ask you which pinch are we on now? Oh, we're on 59. Okay. Sorry, we're on 59. So, toy, what's the sound in toy? 
O Y. Next one. Worm. Worm. What's my sound in worm? What was the first one again? The first one was toy, and this one is worm. We write the word. Only the sound. <laughs> 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 Worms. Worms. Put your down. W O R. Okay, and then our last one. Boot. Boot. What is our special sound in boot? Okay, Dennis, what's my sound in boots? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, good. All right, we won't worry about the bottom row. Let's go ahead and move on to the board. All right, so let's look at my sentences here. We're going to read them, divide it, and identify our subject. So, Dad and I went fishing. First thing first is where am I dividing? Dad and I went fishing. Where would I split my switch sentence between my subject and what happened? I and went. Who's the subject? Dad and I is the subject. What happened? Went fishing. Good. I put a worm on the hook. Okay, first things first, let's split our sentence between our subject 
And what happened? I put the put a worm on the hook. Where am I dividing between? I input. I input. What's my subject? <clears throat> I. I and what's the who? Put the worm on the hook. Good. Next one. Dad cooked the fish. Let's divide between my subject and what happened. Where am I dividing? Kinley? <laughs> Dad and cooked was the subject. And what's what happened? Good. Okay. So remember who it wasn't up. The subject is the part that tells you the who or what the sentence is about. We always underline that once. And the other part, which is the what happened, which we'll talk about next week, what it's actually called, you underline twice. Good. All right. We will go over chart seven and chart eight. And then I'm going to introduce chart nine. Guys, I need you to make sure that you're paying attention. I don't like to say it every time we're on Zoom. All right, um, Carson, you can do seven. Faith, you can do eight. All right, let's go ahead and look at chart seven. Come on, uh, Carson. All right, we'll wait in one second. We'll get it in person. And grin as M says, make sure you're saying your charts. As K says, escape. As P says, in space, C R says, I'm not saying it, In crap, W says, in Wins as PL says in splash as PR says for for in spring as C says squash and squeak as in snack as L says in sleep. T R in dream as W says what 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 in swim. All right, chart A. A R says R R R in stars. C A says ch 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 in church. O R says m mm m -hmm. or, or in morning. O U says ow 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 in out. O W says ow 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 in owl. O W says o o o in bowl. E R says er 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 in verse. U R says the nurse. I R says bird. I O O I O I says O I O I O I coin. O I says O I O I O I boy. O O says book book O O O and book. Keep going. Oh, I can hear you. Choose. Oh, W O R. W O R says war, 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 and warmth. I G H says and night. A A L L says all, 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 and ball. 
A L K says ok 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 and walk. Put my fist in my mouth. I'll put my fist in my mouth. So we are now going to introduce chart nine because we and finished chart eight on yesterday. Can I go to the bathroom? After we're finished. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so you can say the sounds after me. I know y'all may know it already. It's fine. I know y'all may know it already, but just for today, you can say the sounds after me, okay? So let's, I'm gonna get it. ING says ing, 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 and pointing. ING says ing, 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 and pointing. And says mm, and nod. ING says ing, 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 and nod. GN says mm, and nod. GN says mm, and nod. GN says mm, and nod. ING says ing, 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 and bang. ING says ing, 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 and bang. ING says ing, 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 and king. And he says, ing, 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 ing. Oh, and he says, ong, 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 and long. Oh, and he says, ong, 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 and strong. says, ong, 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 and strong. You and he says, ong, 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 and strong. And he says, ink, 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 and bang. And he says, ink, 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 and bang. And he says, ink, 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 and wing. And he says, ink, 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 and wing. And he says, Onk, 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 and honk. Oh, in K says onk, 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 and honk. U in K says onk, 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 and trunk. U in K says onk, 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 and trunk. I'm sorry, W A says wah, 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 and wash. A says uh, 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 and adopt. A says uh, uh, and adopt. 
and baby. Why well, says e e? Oh, I said e e e. L e says little and little. L e says little and little. L e says and 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 wanted. E says and 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 looked. E d says and and e d says d d d and play. E d says and play. All right, so today we will move on to our first. Not special sound on chart one and nine. Does anyone remember what this is called? It is not a special sound because of that hyphen. This is called something else. Does anyone remember what those are called? We talked about them last year. What you got? It's not a special sound. It's different. Look at that hyphen. That hyphen lets us know that this is different. Yeah, you do add it to the back of words, but it has a name. Anyone remember? What? No? These are called suffixes. A suffix. Do you remember that? We did talk about this last year. A suffix. These are called suffixes. So all of the rest of these are special sounds, but this one is called a suffix. And that hyphen is what tells us that this is not a special sound, but instead this is a suffix. A suffix will always be added to the end of a word, like point, then ing, suffix, ing. So that's what we'll be talking about today, our special sound, I'm sorry, our suffix, ing. Okay, ing is what we call a suffix. Now, do you remember? We know the suffix goes at the end, but does anyone remember what the first part is called? In order for you to have a suffix, you have to have this part as well. Your beginning word. Uh -uh. Root word, it's called a root word. Okay, so all the words that you begin with are called root words. But then when you add the ing like we did here, it's called a suffix, okay? So root words and suffixes. Now, I don't know if you remember from last year, but we don't mark them the same way we mark special sounds. When it comes to a root word, we underline the root word and we circle the suffix. Suffix, not a special sound, it's a suffix. Again, in making, we underline make the root word, circle, circle the suffix ing. And wishing, underline the root word wish, ing is your suffix. Your root word is your starting word, the word that is a word on its own because fly is a word, right? Make is a word, wish is a word. All of these are what we call root words. Our suffix is what we added to the end to make it a new word. And in this case, when we add ing to fly, it becomes flying. So your root word is your starting word and then your suffix is what we add at the end, okay? Root words and suffixes. Do y'all remember a little bit last? We did talk about this last year. I'm just, does it come back or it's like, no, I, I actually forgot. I remember now. Yeah? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put a few other extra words here. I want you to mark them. So that's why we keep doing the same thing so we can get our pressure. Okay, we ain't talking about uh, um, that. Okay. All right. So look at our first word, Narayan. Can we mark it? We underline our word, circle our subject.
do. Coming in the morning, I fly. Coming in the morning, fly. Bite so dirty, but you know, the free coming in the jack. So he can, 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 To attach your suffix, you have to have a root word first. Your root word is your beginning word, your starting word. All right, last thing I want to cover is reading. No, uh-uh. We're going to cover talking. Okay, so
see. Go. All right, so let's talk about compound words, okay? So we've covered syllables, which are parts of a word that's when we clap. Now, a compound word is when we have two small words that we join together to make a big word. So you have two smaller words that are words on their own, then you put them together to make one big word. So for example, I have midnight, midnight. What two small words make up midnight? What two small words come together and make up midnight? Mid and night. Football. What two small words came together to make football? What are the two small words? Foot and ball. Rainfall. What two small words were put together to make rainfall? Rain and fall. Good. Cornstalk. What two small words were put together to make cornstalk? Mariah? Corn and stalk. Avaya, toothbrush. What two small words were put together to make toothbrush? Tooth. Tooth and sack. Go sit. And brush. Next, we have sidewalk. What two small words were put together, Dennis, to make sidewalk? Um, side and walk. Side and walk. Good. Side and walk. Awesome. All right, so those are compound words when we have two small words put together to create a big word. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our reading lesson. Let's start, uh, we have that and then math. Are you reading is page 25, Dennis? I know you have the book, page 25. Miss Fugin.
Miss Fusions. Dense. Yep. All right. So I'll put up our reading here on the screen. So yeah, we've been reading about that. We were about Tim and his dad. Well, his family. They went to the pond. Remember, they took a trip to the pond yesterday. We read about their first night. They roasted hot dogs. And then when they woke up, dad said they would go to the pond. Mom was already there, so they were going to go to meet mom at the pond. So that's what we'll read about today, the rest of their trip. Okay, so we are on page 26. It's, it's going to... All right, Dennis, you want to start us off at the pond? You can read both pages, actually, since they're short. Tim and Dad went to the pond. Mom met Tim by the pine tree. Shh, shh, he said. Just then, a pop came from the pond. What was that a gun? Said him, no, not to hear, said mom. Do you see that Dan made of sticks and a log? A beaver said, this is a beaver. Um, I can see the beaver's home. There on the pond. But what was that pop? A beaver? A beaver? No, you skipped one. Here. Made the pop with its tail. Said mom. It was telling all the beavers that you were here. Good. So when him and dad were on their way to the pond, they saw the tracks, which was from a bobcat, which is why they named it Camp Bobcat. And when they go to the pond, right when they arrived, a pop came out of the water. And so they were confused on what that was, but it was a what? A beaver. a beaver, right? He made a pop with his tail and he could have been warning the other beavers that people were around. Okay, 28, Avaya. Oh, said Tim, it was slaps, it slaps its tail on the water to tell all the beavers to hide, Mom said. Can we see the beavers, asked Tim. It is too late to see a beaver, said Mom. I see ducks by the cattail. Six. Cattails, yeah. Six ducks and sixteen and sixteen ducklings were in the water. Tim broke to bun to bite. 
into two bits. He gave the bits of the of bun to a toss into the water. The ducks got them in no time and ate them up all up. The, a big duck with green head led the way up to land. That's the direct of mail. That's the duck. drake. The drake. Drake of mail. Of drake the mail duck, said dad. And here comes no, the time. rest of the ducks. Okay, good. So they wouldn't have been able to see the beavers, but what animal did he see? Uh, the, duck. the duck and the duck had what with her? Ducklings. 16 ducklings with her. And so what did he break to give them? Bread, bread a bun, which is bread. He gave them some bread. And so did they like it? Yeah. Yep, they ate it all up. Okay, 29. Okay, Naraya, 29. Come up to read. Go back to the camp to eat that mom. Back at the camp, Bobcat. Tim got the camp. Dad lit it. And mom fried the fried eggs and made pancakes and coffee. Yum, said Tim. Let's pray and eat. You pray for us, Tim, said that. Thank you, God, said Tim, for the pine and the beavers and the ducks. Thank you for this good food and that you have a plan for each, each of us. And thank you for mom and dad. Okay, good. All right, so after they see all of the ducklings at the pond, they fed the ducks. <coughs> okay, what else was inside of the pond that they could cook, they could catch? Fish. Fish. Fish were in the pond. What type of fish in particular? Uh, it a did bass. a bass. Yep, that's a type of fish. There were bass fish inside, right? So after they did all of that, it was time to go to camp. What was mom going to make for them for breakfast? Uh, pancakes and coffee. Pancakes and eggs. And, and, and coffee. And coffee. She was going to make coffee as well. Good. OK, so does it seem like they're having a good time? Yes. Yep, at the pond, OK? All right, let's keep reading our last uh, last two, page 30. OK, babe. Yes, we're doing this one. Can I read 32? 
to the van and drove home. Dad came to a quick stop at the top of a hill. Let's see that map, Tim. He said, I need it to help us get home. Tim gave Dad the map, but the road was not on it. The map did not help a bit. Let's ask God said mom. He will help us Tim, him mom and dad ask God to help them help us oh God for thy names Sake, praise God. I mean that. Okay, good. All right, so get that. Mom makes pet, uh, mom eight five, Tim eight six, dad eight nine. A lot of pancakes they made, right? And so after all of this, what was it time for them to do? Go it was time for them to go back home. They got in the van and they went back home, right? But what did they need to guide them home? The map. The map. They needed the map to guide them home. But what problem did they have? What was not on the, the map? The, the road. <laughs> the road they were traveling on was not on the map. But who were they going to ask for help? All right, page 31. Let's see. Yes. The world was just past the meal. meal. Mom was right that drove on the and then they got home. Did not help us, but what you wait, think you got said that the map did not help us, but you did, and thank you for the good camping trip. That's 29. Yeah. Thank you. You got the Tim and Mom. Good. Okay, so what's the big spot that helped them to remember where to go? Oh, red, the red, red mill, right? That red mill was a, uh, something that they remembered, and they remembered that they passed it, so when they saw it again, they knew that they were on the right path, and they were able to go home, okay? 32, and I'm going to just read it and start. And thank you, Mom and Dad, said Tim. That was a good trip. I can't wait for the next trip to Camp Bobcat. Good. So they had a great camping trip. 
They were at the pond. They saw a lot of the pond. They ate a lot of good food. They had good dinner and good breakfast. Okay. All right, good. So let's go ahead and do our math, go over our math lesson, and then we'll be finished for the day. I have a couple of things to cover in math. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, because you're not supposed to be texting on the pronoun. Uh. All right, could you find your facts page um, 20, 29, sorry, 28A in your math book, guys? 28A, your facts page. 28, class fact practice, 28A. This is it here. 28A, this is what it looks like. I didn't say that. This page. Yep, that's it. Uh, did, were you showing it to me? Yes, that's it, Abaya Dennis. I don't know if you were showing me a page or not. I didn't say to go to 30. I said 28 and 29. It should have been a two. All right, are we on 28A? All right, we're gonna go through the facts together, just practicing our doubles plus one facts. Okay. All right, let's get started, Dennis. You can is he there? Let me see. Him. Okay, Dennis, you wanna start us off with the first fact? On the A box, three plus four, and tell us the answer. Three plus four. Yes. Three plus four equals seven, seven, Good. seven. Good. Three plus four equals seven, seven, seven. Okay, why you going down? What's the next one? Three plus seven. He said three plus four. So the one underneath that one. That's the next one. Seven plus eight equals um, I don't say language, but it's twenty eight and twenty nine. Seven plus eight. Um, but it can help him out. Seven plus eight equals 15. Good. Okay, Naraya, next one. Say it loud. Six plus seven equals 13, 13, 13. Okay, Carson, next one. Seven plus eight equals 12, 12, 12. Next one, Carson, four plus five. 
Nine plus eight equals 17, 17, 17. Good job. Or eight plus nine is 17, 17. Okay, next one. Kenley, five plus six. Five plus six equals 11. Okay, next one. Okay. Which is this six plus seven? That's the same problem. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Nine plus eight. Uh, back to you, Dennis. Nine plus eight. You want us to write the nine plus? Uh, yes, we're supposed to be putting the answer as we go through. It. Nine plus eight equals something. Nine plus eight is seventeen. 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 Okay. Next one. Five plus four. Next one, Abaya, five plus four. Nine. Nine. Nine, nine. Okay, Noray, right. four plus three. Wait, four plus. Finish your pages at a later time, not right now. All right. So yesterday we learned how to tell time to half an hour, right? Remember, we have two hands on our clock. We have our long hand, which is the minute hand, and our short hand, which is our hour hand. Okay. So whenever we have a full hour, our minute hand will always go on the 12, which means o'clock to show that we are in a brand new hour. What's the number sentence? And whenever we have half past, meaning we are halfway into the hour, the minute hand will go on the six because that represents 30 because 30 is half of 60. 30 minutes is half past, half an hour. All right. So let's look at the board.
penny. A penny is worth how much? You need to go read this. This is not correct. A penny is worth one cent. So that means when we have pennies, we count by ones. Abraham Lincoln is on our penny. A great way to identify the penny is that he's always facing opposite. And if it's ever on the back, it will say one cent. Okay. Next coin, smallest coin. Which coin is this one? It's a what? A diamond. Uh, that's not the number sentence. You need to go read this so you can figure out what the numbers you're adding. Is that a diamond? A dime. Yes. A dime is worth how much money? Ten cents. Ten cents. So when we have dimes, we can buy tens. So a dime is easy to identify, usually because a dime is the smallest coin. Look at the two compared to one another. Dimes are smaller than pennies. So we are going to practice combining pennies and dimes and pennies together. Okay, so what's important, just like we learned last year, is knowing to how to identify the coin first off and also knowing how to shift and adjust your counting, okay? So again, we have the dime and the penny. Our penny is worth one cent, and our dime is worth 10 cents. I'd rather have a dime than a cent. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw an amount here. Okay, so that's a 10, a 10, a 10, a one, a one, a one, a one. Okay, we have my first amount up here. We have my dimes and my pennies. Wait. I have three dimes and four pennies. Would anyone like to count this out out loud for us to give us the answer? Okay. Well, okay, I guess we're only in person today. Say. Count it out loud for us. 10, 20, okay. 31. How much money? Good. And remember, guys, because this is dealing with money, make sure we always put our cent symbol at the end. Okay? Let's review another amount. Okay, look at my dimes and penny. Okay, I have five dimes and one penny. Anyone wants to count this out loud for us? Oh, I have online students today? Okay, go ahead, dearest. 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, Okay, and then 51. we're going to the, good, how much money? 51 cents. 51 cents, awesome. All right, one more. Please don't come on your whispering. All right, one dime and six pennies. Okay. Carson, count this one out of fours. Now remember, this is always a little difficult because how we have to go from 10 into, you know. I know this. Sixteen. All right, go ahead. 16. Good, 11. 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15. How much money? Awesome. All right, so that's a refresher on how we count dimes and pennies. And your book, get it off our desk. And your book is going to be important to pay close attention to the coins, right? Mm -hmm. Dimes are smaller, so it's, and they're usually going to be first. So it's going to be easier to identify the dimes and pennies. But when we'll mix nickels in there, It'll get a little complicated, so you have to pay close attention to the details of the coin and also the size and also the wording on the coin when you're combining and counting them together in your book, okay? All right, so next thing we'll move on to is addition and subtraction families. We did learn also last year's line first grade. A lot of this is refresher, okay? So remember, family, 
For example, I have three, six, and nine. These are my own oh, I numbers that. that can be in my fax family. Three, six, and nine. Those are the only numbers I can use because that's the family. From these three numbers, I want to create two addition facts and two subtraction facts. From only these three numbers, two addition and two subtraction. Now we did do this last year, so I'm gonna, before I get into it, I wanna see, how do I know what I'm going to make as an addition fact? What will I be adding to first? I always make sure I'm adding to which number, the what? The first number? Mm, not the first, something else. Out of three, six, and nine, I always make sure I am adding to my largest number. In this case, our largest number is what? Nine. So that means three and six have to be added to one another in order to get to what? Nine. So my first addition fact I can create is three plus six, and it's going to equal nine. Let's create another addition fact. Remember, your second addition fact will just be the twin of the other one. So if three plus six is nine, what's the other addition fact I'll create? Three. Six plus three. Six plus three, and it's gonna equal nine. nine. So only using those three numbers, these are my two addition facts that I created. So now when it comes to subtraction, it's a little different. When we are doing the subtraction, we have to start with our largest number first. You cannot subtract six, not six minus nine. There's no way to take nine out of six, and I can't subtract three out of six. There's no way to take six out of three. There is no way possible. No. So when you create your subtraction fact from your family, you have to start with your largest number. So that means I will start with what number to subtract? Nine. So nine minus. Nine minus three equals three. Gotta be. That's the only numbers I can use. What's my other subtraction fact? I'm gonna create from this. Nine minus nine minus three equals six. Good. Okay. This is the best. All right, here's my next one. I have six, thirteen, and seven. This is my next family. I can only use these three numbers: six, seven, and thirteen. What's an addition fact I can create with six, 13, and seven? What's an addition fact I can create? A volume? What's my addition Which fact? Which one? Seven, huh? What'd you say? Seven plus eight equals 15. Uh, no, there's no eight in here. Mm -hmm. So it's not really possible for me to add to eight. I'm not on this one. Okay, I need you to focus, please. Um, I'm doing the six and 13. Yes, this one here. So what's an addition fact I can create? I am the Six plus seven equals 13. Six plus seven equals 13, okay? What's another addition fact, Dennis, I can create with six, seven, and 13? Seven plus six equals 13. Seven plus six equals 13. Thank you. All right, subtraction fact. Remember, we always start with that large number first. What's the subtraction fact I can create? Can we? Thirteen minus six. I mean, thirteen minus seven equals six. Thirteen minus seven equals six. What's another subtraction fact? Okay. Thirteen minus seven equals six. Good. All right. So in your book, it will not have like the addition, addition, subtraction, subtraction. In your book, it'll have four lines, but it's the same exact process. You do two addition, two subtraction, but in your book, it'll just have three numbers. It'll ask you to make a fact family, and you do two addition, two subtraction, okay? That's how it will look in your book. 
So we are 15, 7, and 8. What's an addition fact I can create from 15, 7, and 8? Oh. 15, 7, and 8. What's an addition fact I can create? 7 plus 8 equals 15. 7 plus 8 equals 15. Remember, guys, you always just add to the big number. Take your two small ones and add to the big one. What's another addition fact I can create? 8 plus 7 equals. Okay, subtraction 5. What's a subtraction 5 I can build? So remember, always start with your large number first. Can you tell me Uh huh. Hey, 50 minus 8 equals? Good. Right. What's the other subtraction fact? 15 minus 7 equals 8. 15 minus 7 equals 8. Good job. In your book, this is what it will look like. Same process, two additions to subtraction. All right? Okay, that completes our math lesson. We've covered all what we needed to cover today, guys. I will see you all in tomorrow for phonics testing. That's all we're meeting for tomorrow. Complete all your work with pages. Okay, we tomorrow. And yes, we do have our test on tomorrow. Everything that we learned on Zoom, that's what we're testing on tomorrow, okay? So y'all have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.